We're in Rome, standing near the Tiber, looking at an ancient Roman temple, a temple that for a long time was misnamed Fortuna Virilis. Temple of manly fortune. It looks very much like what you expect a classical temple, temple to look like. Although it's relatively Roman. small. It is small, but it's got fluted columns. Ionic columns. Derived Ionic from, capitals. Derived from, from the Greek, but this is clearly not a Greek temple. Right. It's different in important ways. So, for one thing, it, it's on a raised platform. Right. And the platform only has steps in the front. Right. And the Greeks, if you think about the Parthenon, for instance, you would enter from the front or the back, but in terms of actually rising up to the stylobite, you could ascend from any point. Right, and I think about a Greek temple more as something where the worship took place outside of the temple. The statue of the god would be inside, but it's sort of almost, a Greek temple is almost like a, to me it's kind of sculpture in the landscape. And here it is more of a directional yeah. emphasis on the front, well, on the porch. And it's not just directional, but but I think the worshiper is actually being directed in a very yes. specific way. Yes. So that I think the Romans are, in a sense, controlling the way you use the building. And I think, like a Greek temple, the, only the priest would have gone inside. It's also Roman in other important ways. Not only does it have the single staircase in the front, but the building extends out to the edge, almost. Right. There's a larger interior space so that the columns on the sides and the back are not freestanding columns, they're attached columns. Yeah, they're engaged. And that's a, a sort of a particularly Roman thing. Yes. The, the Greeks, I don't think, would have done that because the Greek used columns actually as, as structural devices. And here, the columns are just purely decorative, decorative. As, as you move back. In other words, the wall's doing the supporting, the wall's actually doing the work of holding up the roof. So the building is not in great condition. It dates from 100 BC, so it's more than 2,000 years old. And it's still standing. And it's still here, <laughs> surrounded by the modern traffic of the city. And we get a real sense of what an ancient Roman temple looked like True. from the period of the ancient Roman Republic. It's really beautifully proportioned. There's a wonderful kind of rhythm that's created by the columns as they move back. And it's got four columns across the front and two deep for that porch space. And I think this was, a lot of this was based on the culture that lived here before. The Etruscans? Yeah, I think actually that this borrows from ancient Etruscan architecture. But I'm seeing lots of Greek influence. Yes. I'm seeing dentals, I'm seeing, as we mentioned before, the, the ionic columns, the, uh, the, the pediment, pediment the absolutely. Top. All of which is really speaking of just how important the Greek precedent was for the Romans. It's like going back in time, standing here and looking at it. Mm -hmm.